So as you know, we just moved. Was it easy, guys? No. No? Yeah. <laughs> but we're here. Um, we don't have a lot set up, including TV or cable. So we thought this would be an awesome week to try this DIY phone projector that's actually pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Yes. Yeah? All right, let's do it. So to get this started, you'll just need a box, a magnifying glass, hot glue, and a phone or tablet. All right, so starting with the box, we practiced with this Amazon one, which worked great, but I did find this super pretty sturdy one in Laura's closet. Thank you, Laura. And then I just cut a hole with a box cutter the size of my magnifying glass. Today we are using these kid ones because we already had them and they do have handles, but I just cut another hole through the bottom of the box and I like that it props up the projector. Securing with hot glue. And then all you'll need is your video, but the key is it's gotta play upside down, which is a little tricky. So I'm gonna show you guys, if you've got an iPhone, a little hack. You go to settings, general, accessibility, and then assistive touch. And a little circle is gonna show up and you can use that to force rotate your screen. All right, so once everything was ready, I took the kids into our new closet, still need some organization, and of course, turned off the lights. Here we go, guys. You'll immediately see something on the wall, but you'll need to adjust the box back and forth until the video is in focus. Whoa. You start with the thickest liquid, honey. See you, Tessie. That is cool. Full disclosure, guys, this is not perfect quality. A little blurry. Kind of reminded me of the home videos that my parents used to play on the wall when I was growing up. This is like old time movies. They didn't have TVs. And the kids really liked it, especially Ford. This is so cool. Yeah. In fact, the next morning, I saw him using this with his iPad, which I hadn't thought about. <laughs> and it kind of fit perfectly, and I think might have been even clearer on the wall. Ford, that's such a good idea, buddy. And then, just out of curiosity, I did order two more magnifying glasses to test out. A more expensive $30 crystal one. Fancy. This is about the same. Maybe a little worse. And then a rectangular one to see if there was less distortion. Oh my. Not playing at all. Save your money and get the cheap round ones. All right, guys. We hope you give this a try. Bye. Because it was super fun. We'll see you soon. Bye. 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 We need a new set, you guys. I need to figure that out.